Hello, um, this is uh, not a scripted, uh, so I'm going to make mistakes. Uh, it's very emotional. Um, we, uh, we have a very beautiful African-American daughter that we were very fortunate enough to adopt 11 years ago. And um, we have, we've dealt with a little bit of racism, you know, stares, things like that, that um, when she calls his mom or dad, but she's never noticed, she didn't notice, and so we just blew it off because it was directed towards us. But uh, this past New Year's Eve, um, my daughter had a friend over. Uh, they were having fun. They were doing selfies and sending them out to their friends on Snapchat and things like that. Well, this girl that uh, does not like my daughter was having was at a friend's house apparently the, a couple of twins that were freshmen from Prior Lake um, and these twins decided to send my daughter some snapchats well with snapchat you hold the button down when you receive it you listen to it or, or view it and then it disappears well after the third video uh, my daughter's friend who's Caucasian came and told my wife and I that these things were happening and what the content of it was uh, not only was it bullying but it was also racism uh, and so when they got the fourth message from these kids the fourth one not the first one the fourth one uh, my wife and I decided to take out my phone and videotape it as it was happening on the phone and I want to show this to you really quick So, I apologize, you probably couldn't see it very well, but um, as you can imagine, my wife and I were extremely shocked. Um, I found out who these kids were. I attempted to call the twins' parents, uh, left multiple messages, never got anything back. Um, went to their house numerous times, nobody would ever answer the phone, or I'm sorry, answer the door. Uh, and so I reached out to the police because uh, a week and a half ago, some of our very good friends, their son committed suicide at the age of 13 because of bullying. And at that point, it just dawned on me, I, I can't have this hanging over us and my daughter thinking the worst and something could happen. Uh, so I went to the police, um, told the police what happened, gave them the video. Uh, they went to the school, talked to the police that are stationed at the school, brought the kids in, talked to the parents, um, asked if it was okay if I called the parents. I got the cell phone of the father. And um, when I got the cell phone of the father, I finally got a hold of this individual. I'm not going to call him a gentleman because he's far from it. And um, I talked to him and uh, he told me he didn't understand what was wrong with the video because one, their kids didn't even know my daughter. And I was like, well, that makes it even double bad. You don't even know my daughter. Uh, he told me I was crazy that he, uh, that's what, what he did when he was a kid and that him and his family make jokes at the house using this word all the time. So what was the big deal? Uh, said a few things to him that uh, I can't repeat over uh, this video. Um, then hung up on him because I couldn't take it anymore. And so I promptly get this email, or I'm sorry, text me, or jeez, sorry, I'm upset. This voicemail back from him, and this is what it said. Yeah, Brad. Times have turned, huh? I guess you're a nigger lover. Call me back. So I received that voicemail. Um, doing what I'm doing now. I can't believe that there's even freaking individuals like this alive, but there are. And um, so I called him back and I said, well, yeah, that's a correct statement. I am an, an, an lover because uh, I have a beautiful African-American daughter who I love more than life itself and would do anything for her. And um, said a few more choice words to him and hung up on him again. Uh, he called back numerous times. He, he left one other voice message. Um, let you hear this one. Hey, Brad, you're a fag. Grow up. Touch base with your kid. And, uh, you're a loser. So, I, I just, I, you know, and during our conversations, he said, I said, well, I'm going to post this on, on uh, social media. He goes, I don't care. I said, so you and your kids own this? Oh, yeah. 
yep, no problem. It's like, okay, so I'm posting and I said, I'm going to tell him your name. He goes, I don't care. Uh, so his name is uh, Darren. It's either D-A or D-E-R-O-N. Last name is Perot, P-U-R-O. Um, and we live in uh, Prior Lake, Minnesota. Um, and so I just want him to own it. And his twins that go to high school as a freshman, they can own it too. Um, thank you. I just had to get this off my chest. I, I just don't know what to do. Um, other than I, I love my daughter and I don't want her to end up committing suicide because of freaking morons like this goddamn asshole. Sorry. Thanks. Bye.